Hi, my name is Gerd Kruger, and today I'm going to be showing you how to record a Kiwi Wizard Pro script against a web application. Now, once you open up Kiwi Wizard Pro to start the recording process, you select Script and Record New Script. In this case, we'll be selecting our WYSIWYGCorp website, which is a browser based application, and we'll be selecting Internet Explorer as our browser of choice. We then hit the Record button to start the recording process. This will open up the web application. Kiwi Wizard Pro will automatically browse to the, to the URL set for the application. You'll notice to the left and bottom of your screen we have a recording toolbar. I will continue to enter information into my application. As I do so, Kiwi Wizard Pro is now recording all the information about these objects, objects being text boxes, drop down lists, and buttons. Now, as I'm completing all of these steps, I will go through the process as a normal user would, and once I've completed my steps, I'll simply close my browser and select the stop button from the recording toolbar. QSA Pro will now initiate the process of creating my script and updating the application repository if necessary. The script is now generated and we can now see this in our keyword view inside of QSA Pro. By selecting a step, you'll notice to the right hand top of your screen, the preview window will refresh and show us the object that we're busy interacting with at this particular point in time inside of our script. Now we can also switch to the text view at any point in time. So the text view allows us to also edit steps, add new steps, similar to the keyword view. However, the text view um, would be for users that would like to have the programming type experience uh, using QSA Pro. So back to the keyword view, I'm now going to select a object from our application repository. This is the properties as to how we find this particular object inside of our application. Um, so these are the search criteria and we're searching for this particular item using its name. Now once we have uh, set all these items and we are ready, we can simply go ahead and select the run option from the script menu to execute our script. This will open up our web application and execute the steps as we recorded them. Now while this is finishing off, Q is a pro in the background will be capturing all of this information and pushing it through to our QA Wizard Pro reports. So I'm going to go ahead and open up this report. This report is of the script we just executed, which will show us that this was a successful execution of our script. It will also show us additional information such as the start time and end time for this execution. If there was a failure, this would be logged as well. Now for more information, please visit www.cpine.com.